Okay, Ryan Henderson out. Call it home, still out. Buck Allen still out. Soma uh, was out after a back issue in the beginning of practice Saturday. Xavier Grimble still out. Uh, Randall Telfer out. George Farmer did do some things and is getting closer to a full return. And Cody Temple will have surgery on his ankle and uh, be out obviously for the rest of spring. As far as practice, I thought the intensity was pretty good. I thought that uh, you know, the offense did a really good job. Probably one of the better days offensively comparable to the defense. So we'll go back and look at the film. Um, for the second practice in a row, Devon Flournoy did a number of things, which is obviously great to see anytime there's opportunity. You like to see players seize their opportunity, which he has done. Um, the, the thing with Cody, is he going to be back for training camp? They, would they believe he will be full speed for training camp. Okay, and it's an ankle surgery? And yes. did he hurt himself on Saturday? He had hurt himself earlier, and then they thought that he could make it through, and it kept him, and they checked it out some more. How, is he, how was he doing? Was he... he was doing well. Strong at a point of attack. Had not been over there, you know, because we had just moved him over, so he hadn't had any practices on the defensive side, but um, was kind of a run plugger and doing, doing well. How well is Mark? it? Good as Mark is. Same as before. I think he'll be the best one to ever play here. Keeps working hard. Um, he does everything. I mean, there's not a play he doesn't make. And it's just it's as good as they come. He seems like... Yeah, when think about what he just did. He went and won the long jump. After when everybody else is practicing long jump all week and doing whatever they do for track, and he's out here in a two and a half hour practice and running sprints afterwards within 48 hours of the meet. Are you concerned at all? Um, that he's going to get worn down. I mean, because you're so short on receivers, he's taking so many reps that he's doing training. Not really. He's just really, he, he's really unique individual. You know, for whatever reason, we got you know, there's two of them kind of like that. Him and Nikel, they just go forever. And it doesn't matter how long practice is. Doesn't matter what it is. You know, I suspect we'll go to this conditioning right here after special teams. He'll probably win all of them after running more than anybody else in the field the whole day. They're just, they're just special like that. Is anyone um, nudged ahead at this point for the backup quarterback spot? No, they both do things um, well and different, so um, we, we would not be able to make that decision yet. Would you, you plan to make that decision? Not really. You know, if it unfolds itself and somebody really, um, you know, creates a separation, then we'd make it. But if there's not, there's no reason to right now because we want to continue to develop both of them. Um, so Trey Madden fumbled again today, you had said that that's one of the biggest things he has to work on. Is that just a matter of reps, you think, and just getting used to contact and that sort of thing? Yeah, when you haven't played running back at all in college, you're used to high school and you're in practice, you know, this is a, you know, very different, by the way. The defense goes after the ball and how intense they are, so unfortunately that's a normal thing that happens. It even happens when you get guys, look what DJ did when he first got here, you know, and that's after being a running back his whole career, so um, it's, it's actually kind of normal. I like he got to the second level pretty quick a couple of times today. Yeah, he continues to to make to flash every every day in practice, you know, three, four times and great forward lean and body control. You really see him on the ground. Think how many times guys are throwing him around and he stays up. You know, he's a special athlete. With you guys having to be down to seventy five as far as numbers, do you anticipate seeing more situations like Trey's and, and some of these other guys maybe looking at other spots for them where they can fit in? Yeah, I think we've we've kinda done that really since we've gotten here, because we've had reduced numbers all along. You know, there's there's you know times last year we're playing 40, I think 42, 44 players. So our numbers, we've been dealing with this. This is not something new. And so we've done things like Ross Cummings before last year, moving him to fullback, and he ended up playing a bunch of snaps late in the year for us. So as opposed to being a backup linebacker, now movement of Trey Madden. You know, we just moved Andre from the right to the left. I think we're going to have to continue to make these moves like you do in the NFL as far as because your numbers are down. Our difference is we don't have free agency to go to pick up people off the waiver wire, so we've just got to find ways to maximize the situation that we're in, which is what we've been trying to do for 18 months now.